validation rules specify whether the data that your user has entered meets the specific rules that you've set up before a user saves a record. System validation rules check the following things. Whether a particular piece of data is compliant with the layout specific rules, whether it meets the required fields that are needed at the page layout level, whether fields are of the valid data type or format, and whether fields are meeting the maximum or minimum field length. Custom validation rules are any validation rules that a user has set up manually. There are a couple of key terms or values to be aware of using validation rules. The first is prior value. This can be used to control or define the specific value of a field. The is changed value in a validation rule will evaluate a field once it has been changed. Let's take a look at a demo. Okay, let's have a look at an example for prior value. So I'm here at my validation rules and I've gone ahead and created a blank slate for a validation rule on the opportunity object. It's called next steps required. And what I want it to do is only move from the value proposition stage once the next steps field is full. To do this, uh, I'm thinking about conditions that I want to be true for this to continue or for an error message to show up. It needs to be in the value prop stage. That's the first condition that I need to check. And the second condition I need to check is whether the next steps field is full or blank. If it's full, then we can go ahead and proceed. But if it's blank, I want it to trigger an error and not let the user continue. So how do I write this? Well, I know that I have two conditions that I need to be true at the same time. So this means I need to put in an and statement to begin with. So I'm inserting the and statement over here. And it's telling me here that it checks whether all arguments are true and returns true if all arguments are true. I don't think they said true enough in that sentence. <laughs> but basically what we're doing is we're putting in replacing logical one with our first statement and logical two with our second statement and we don't have any others after that so I can delete those dot dot dots. So the first statement that I need to check is whether the pick list value is value proposition. So I can come down here and look for a useful function that will tell me about pick lists. Here we go, is pick list value. So I'm inserting that one there and then in the replacement of pick list field I can put the field that I would like to be showing and this is where I'm going to use my prior value. Because I'm changing this kind of stage in my opportunity we need to check the prior value so that it only runs this rule when I want to be changing the stage to the next value. So I'm putting in prior value here and then I am entering in the field name which I can insert from here stage, insert, and then I can put in the actual name of the stage, which I have open in this one so that I can copy and paste it. We're making no spelling mistakes here, thank you very much. Okay. That's looking good, so that's my first condition. And then my second condition is if the next steps field is blank, then I do want an error to come up because I want that field to be filled out before people can move on. So I'm looking for my handy dandy function in here called is blank. And this just returns a true or false on whether an expression is blank or not. And then I want to put in the field API name that I'm looking for. So of course I'm gonna copy and paste that. There we go, field name. Let's give that a quick copy and paste in here. Awesome, so I'm gonna check that syntax. No errors found. And I'll save that. All right, so I'm here in my value proposition stage and you can see that my next steps field is empty. So I'm going to try and move to my next stage and we'll see what happens. Great, so it's given me this error here, which is exactly what I wanted. You encountered some errors when trying to save this record. And then it's got my custom message, which says you cannot progress to the next stage until you enter in a next step. So let's test it out. If I went down into next step and just said research company or whatever my next step may be. Now I've got a next step in there. Let's see if I can move on. Awesome. 
So that validation worked fine and it's a great example of how we can use the prior value field and our validation rules.